Welcome. My name is Leanne Van Dyke. I serve as the 10th president of Columbia Theological Seminary. Uh, this is the first in a series of short video messages to communicate with our uh, community of supporters and alumni to let you know what's going on at Columbia. I'm eager to tell you about uh, a new strategic planning uh, process that's starting on campus in recent days and weeks. We have gathered together a team of board and faculty and staff and students and alumni to discern together uh, what is new and next in our mission. We are linking our strategic planning with what's come before, but then we're also looking out ahead to see what's next. Some of the things that we're talking about include the possibility of online education, the possibility of a deeper involvement with church planting, the possibility of a deeper involvement with persons with disabilities in our communities. Those are the sorts of things that we're gonna be talking about together in our strategic planning process. One of the things that we care a lot about is training and forming our students to be culturally aware, culturally intelligent. One of the ways that we do that is to form reading groups each year around a common book. We call that the Big Read. This year, the book that we read together was called Outcasts United, a book by Warren St. John. It tells the story of a, wo a woman named Luma Mufla, who heads up a, a youth soccer team in Clarkston, Georgia, which is just a few miles down the road. This is an, a, a, a real life story of a woman in a refugee context helping often traumatize young people acclimate and find their own identity in their lives. Our students were very moved by this book and we are now trying to figure out what our next steps might be to serve refugees and to form our seminary students. I'm very proud to uh, be able to say that Columbia Theological Seminary now has had its fifth Loose Fellow Award winner. This is a research and sabbatical program that's nationally known. We have had five faculty that have won the Loose Fellow program. Kathleen O'Connor, Walter Brueggemann, William Brown, Christine Roy Yoder, and now, just recently, our Marcia Riggs, who is our professor of social ethics. So this is a real point of pride and honor for Columbia that I'm happy to report. I am well aware each day that we could not fulfill our mission if it weren't for the people that were helping us. We have help in the form of our donors, our alums, congregations that care about us, a wider community of support. I am so grateful for that kind of support. Ask for it to continue so that we can continue to do what God is calling us to do.